Hello everyone, on today I'd like to take a couple of seconds to talk about being great in the kingdom of God. I know that in the world when you think about being great, you think about having a great job, you think about being a doctor or a lawyer or having a great big house or um, the fancy cars, but on today I just want to talk about what it means to be great in the kingdom of God. Um, right now we're in a season at Trinity where we're trying to find leaders and when people think of leaders they think of um, being a pastor or being a Ken Coughlin or uh, maybe being a Carol Schaefer you know all these great opportunities to walk in a place of leadership but when you look in the Bible and you think about the word greatness I think about the disciples talking to Jesus because John and James mom went to Jesus and asked if he if she if he would allow um, her sons to sit on his right and left side is that what it was Ken and um, his disciples heard about that and they were just really upset because of course everyone thinks they're great and so Jesus called them all together and he said hey here's the key if you want to be great you've got to be a servant so I'm reading this book right now for like the 20th time and it's called to lead is to serve whenever I think of a leader um, I think about my youth ministry and I think about the fact that I have all these people that come out on every single week from their busy jobs no matter what it is and they actually come out to serve our youth so my plea to you today is if you want to be great in the kingdom of God then you must first humble yourself just as Jesus did and learn to serve Jesus was such a servant that he was willing to wash his disciples feet so my question to you that I'd like to leave today is are you in a place where you have such a heart of a servant and you want to be great in the kingdom of God would you dare to wash someone else's feet God bless you hope to see you again the next time